straight to number six. Tap number six. Solve log log x base three plus log x minus eight base three equals two. Now we have to remember this rule of logarithm log b base b plus log q base b equals log pq base b you can see that in the rule the two logarithms have the same base and their coefficients are ones this is same as saying one log p base b plus one log q base b so those conditions must be satisfied before you apply the rule now let's go back to the question log x base 3 plus log x minus 8 base 3 equals 2 plus log x minus 8 base 3 equals 2 that simply means log x into bracket x minus 8 base 3 that's base 3 not 2 base 3 equals 2 and this is the same as x into bracket x minus 8 equals 3 raised to power 2 what I've done here is what I did was writing that's what you get when you write this logarithmic equation in index form now we go to the next we can expand the brackets on the left hand side and that means x squared minus 8x equals 9 3 squared is 9 which means x squared minus 8x minus 9 equals 0 now we factorize to factorize you multiply the first term by the constant the constant is the one that doesn't have any x attached to it minus 9 times x squared is minus 9 x squared now you think of two factors whose sum is minus 8x and whose product is minus 9x squared what are those factors those factors are those factors are ma plus x minus 9x yes 1x minus 9 9x is minus 8x so we now rewrite minus 8x as x minus 9x that's the only thing that will change in the equation so the equation now becomes x squared plus x minus 9x minus 9 equals 0 where x minus 9x stands for minus 8x and now we can factorize x into bracket x plus 1 minus 9 into bracket x plus 1 equals 0 and that means x minus 9 x plus 1 equals 0 and this simply means x minus 9 equals 0 or x plus 1 equals 0 which is the same as x equals 9 or x equals minus 1 let me write this 0 well is zero now that means x equals nine or x equals minus one the options only show one of the solutions and that's d which is nine so we go straight to the next which is number seven let's see what's number seven i'm sure that's a very simple question too now number seven number seven mr mano is four times as old as his son adu Adu, se seven years ago, the sum of their ages was 76. How old is Adu? Okay. 
that's a piece of cake this is a question on the primary five pupil will find very simple now let's start we write the age of the younger person let adult's age be x mr manu is four times as old as his son adu that means mr manu will be four times x which is four x now seven years ago the sum of their ages was 76 seven years ago adu was x minus seven your age seven years ago was what it is now minus seven so that means if you subtract seven from your age now you'll get what your age was seven years ago now i do seven years ago was x minus seven seven years old plus his father's age seven years ago was four x minus seven and the sum of their ages for seven years ago was 76 the sum of their ages seven years ago was 76 i need to write that well the sum of their ages seven years ago was 70 or 76 so that simply means x plus the sum of their ages seven years ago was 76 so that simply means x plus 4x which is 5x now minus 7 minus 7 is minus 14 equals 76 and that means 5x equals 76 plus 14 which means 5x equals 90 now you divide both sides by 5 to get x let me make this neater And that means x equals 18 years so therefore adu's age is 18 years now we go and the correct option is c we go straight to the next which is number eight number eight factorize completely x squared minus the square of y plus z this is very simple you should remember this you should remember the difference of two squares a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b now here x is a y while wow, y plus z is b so that's what we are doing that simply means that simply means x squared minus the square of y plus z is the same as don't forget x represents a that's a plus b which means x plus let me write it this way y plus z x plus y plus z into bracket a minus b now and that will be x minus b is y plus z <laughs> that's it that's it and that simply means where do we go from there now that means yeah we can open the brackets now x plus y plus z into bracket x if you open the bracket here what do you have that will be x minus y minus z and that's the answer let's see which option matches that and the option that matches that is b so the correct answer is b x plus y plus z times x minus y minus z we go straight to the next which is number nine find the roots of the quadratic equation that's number nine find the roots of the quadratic equation 3m squared minus 2m minus 65 equals zero we can solve this quadratic equation by the factorization method this is how you do that multiply the first term by the constant the constant is the one that doesn't have any any unknown attached to it minus 65 times 3m squared is minus 195 m squared 
now we think of two factors whose sum is minus 2m two factors whose sum is minus 2m and whose product is minus 195 m squared and those factors are those factors are 13m and minus 15m we'll see that 13m minus 15m is minus 2m and 13m times minus 15m will give us minus 95m squared so those are the factors that we're going to replace minus 2m with so instead of minus 2m i'm gonna write 13m minus 15m so the equation becomes 3m squared plus 13m minus 15m minus 65 equals 0 this is minus 65 and this is let me to write as well 3m now let's factorize m is common to 3m squared and 13m that's m into m is the highest common factor of 3m squared and 13m now that simply means 3m plus 13 minus 5 is the highest common factor of minus 15m minus 65 so that becomes minus 5 into bracket 3m plus 13 equals equals 0 and now that's the same as m minus 5 that's m minus 5 into bracket 3m plus 13 equals 0 and that simply means m minus 5 equals 0 or 3m plus 13 3m plus 13 equals 0 which simply means m equals 5 or 3m equals minus 13 and that means m equals 5 or m equals minus 13 over 3 and let's see which of the options matches that the correct option is c minus 13 over 3 or 5 now we go straight to the next which is number 10 number 10 should be up here yeah that's number 10 what does that say number 10 m varies jointly as the square of m and the square root of q if m is 24 when m is 2 and q is 4 find m when m is 5 and q is 9 m varies jointly as the square of m and the square root of q that means that's how you write that and that simply means m equals km squared where k is a constant constant of proportionality m equals km squared times root q and that simply means the first thing to do is to find k that simply means k equals m divided by m squared times root q which simply means now we know that m equals m equals 24 when m equals 2 and q equals 4 now let's find k first k will be equal to m which is 24 over we wrote that already that's it k equals m over m squared times root q so that's 24 over m squared m is 2 that means 2 squared multiplied by the square root of q which is 4 and that simply means k equals 24 over 4 times 2 and that's 3 that means 24 over 8 which is 3 so k equals 3 now therefore the equation connecting m n and k m n and q is k 
actually write k already have a k this is the equation actually this is the equation connecting m n and q this equation this is the equation m equals what is it yeah this is the equation connecting m n and q m equals k n squared root q and now that i know k i'm going to put it i'm going to put its value there so that means m equals k n squared root q is the same as m equals 3n squared root q because k is 3 so that means m equals 3n squared times root q that's the equation connecting m n and q now the question says find m when m is equal to 5 and q is equal to 9 so when m equals 5 and q equals 9 m will be equal to m will be equal to 3 times n squared which is 5 squared times root q which is root 9 and that simply means 3 times 25 times the square root of 9 is 3 and that that's 225 let's check that 3 times 25 times 3 and that's 225 m equals 225 and the correct option is d all right let's take a breather and then come back for the rest thank you very much and stay blessed